Tense is based on which principle? Tense is an acronym which stands for Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation. Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation. And this tense is a therapeutic modality. In other terms, we can mention it as a non-pharmacologic management of acute and chronic painful conditions. Therefore, tense is associated with management of pain. But the question is, it is based on which principle? The various options are gate control theory, sensory neural theory, calcium displacement theory and specific receptor theory. I have stated that tense is associated with pain management and therefore it is based on one of the theories of pain. And we should remember four influential theories of pain perception and they are specificity theory, intensity theory, pattern theory and gate control theory of which the most important one is the gate control theory. It visualizes the pain modulation in a good way. Therefore, from the given four options, tense is based on one of the theories of pain, which is the gate control theory. It is very, very important to understand this gate control theory. This gate control theory is proposed by Ronald and Melzack. It was given by Ronald Melzack and Charles Patrick Wall in the year 1965. This is an important MCQ. We can just remember even that Melzack and Wall proposed gate control theory in the year 1965. And they stated that there is a gate at the level of spinal cord. And this gate is going to bring about the modulation of pain transmission. And this gate is nothing but the substantia gelatinosa. This is again an important MCQ. The gate, according to gate control theory proposed by Melzack and Wall is substantia gelatinosa. A next important point I would like to discuss is about the different types of nerve fibers associated with pain. A beta, A delta and C fibers. A beta fibers are myelinated and A delta they are also myelinated, but C fibers are unmyelinated nerve fibers. And A beta are of the largest diameter, followed by A delta, whereas C fibers are of smallest diameter. A beta fibers are stimulated by non noxious stimuli such as touch, whereas A delta fibers as well as C fibers are stimulated by noxious stimulus, but A delta fibers are associated with transmission of sharp pain, whereas C fibers are associated with transmission of dull, aching and burning pain. These are some of the important characteristic features of different nerve fibers associated with pain. And now getting on with the gate control theory, we should thoroughly understand the given picture to know about the gate control theory. So here we have to focus on two different nerve fibers. One is myelinated nerve fiber, another is unmyelinated nerve fiber. And as I have stated, myelinated includes A beta and A delta and unmyelinated includes the C fibers. And there is something called as I cell. So this stands for inhibitory interneurons. And the inhibitory interneuron is nothing but the substantia gelatinosa which is the gate according to Melzack and Wall and there is something called as T cell which stands for transmission cell and this T cell is nothing but the second order neuron. Therefore, once the T cell is stimulated it is going to transmit the nociceptive impulses to the higher centers in the brain and now focusing on the various symbols. At some places we have plus symbol, at some places we have minus symbol. Plus indicates facilitation or excitation and negative sign indicates inhibition. And now let's focus on 
myelinated nerve fibers, it is going to stimulate the inhibitory cell as well as the T cell. Whereas with unmyelinated nerve fibers, it inhibits the I cell but it stimulates the T cell. That is what is given in the table also. Myelinated nerve fibers stimulates I cell and T cell and unmyelinated nerve fibers inhibit the I cell but stimulates the T cell. And one important point we should note is that the inhibitory cell is going to inhibit the T cell. Okay, So, you can see a negative symbol. Therefore, I cell is going to inhibit the T cell which is a second order neuron. Therefore, once the T cell neurons are inhibited, it is not going to transmit the impulse to the brain. Therefore, the substantia gelatinosa which is the gate inhibits the pain transmission. So, that is the information obtained from this picture. Okay, So, I cell which is the substantia gelatinosa, it inhibits the pain transmission by inhibiting the T cell that is the second order neurons in the spinal cord. And now we should understand that when only myelinated nerve fibers are stimulated by a painful stimulus, then it is going to stimulate or activate the I cell. Therefore, it is going to inhibit the T cell as well. But it also stimulates the T cell, that is it activates the pain transmission. Therefore, both the effects cancel each other and the net result is that there is no pain transmission. Whereas, only when unmyelinated nerve fibers are stimulated, it is going to inhibit the I cell. Therefore, it indirectly stimulates the transmission of pain. At the same time, it is going to stimulate the T cell as well. Therefore, it directly enhances the pain transmission. Therefore, the net result is increased T cell firing that is observed and therefore enhanced pain transmission is there with respect to stimulation of unmyelinated C fibers. But most of the stimulus stimulates both myelinated as well as the unmyelinated nerve fibers and as a result it results in intermediate pain. But still it is dependent on the number of fibers that is stimulated. If the myelinated fibers predominate then it results in pain inhibition. If unmyelinated fibers predominate then it is going to result in enhanced pain. This is about the gate control theory and now getting back to the question about TENS which stands for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation as the name indicates we are stimulating a specific nerve by passing electric current transcutaneously. Okay, the electric current is of low intensity but high frequency. Low intensity but high frequency of about 50 to 100 hertz and this is sufficient to stimulate the A beta fibers. You have to note that TENS is based on the anti nociceptive effect of cutaneous nerve stimulation, specifically the A beta fibers, because it is not up to the threshold to stimulate A delta and C fibers to produce pain. And once the A beta fibers are stimulated, it is going to result in release of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dynorphins which bring about immediate pain relief. Immediate pain relief is achieved with TENS. That is an important point we should note. And one important point is that naloxone cannot reverse the effect of TENS but local anesthesia can regress the effect of TENS because naloxone acts on the endogenous opiate system but this TENS is based on the gate control theory by stimulating the cutaneous sensory nerve mostly A beta fibers and therefore it is not reliable or it is not dependent on the endogenous opioids to achieve the pain relief and therefore naloxone is not effective against TENS. And now getting back to the question, it is based on theories of pain and the right answer is gate control theory whereas the other options which states sensory neural theory, calcium displacement theory, specific receptor theory of which the calcium displacement and specific receptor theories are theories of local anesthesia. There are different theories of local anesthesia of which these are some of the theories of local anesthesia but TENS is based on pain. Therefore, it is based on one of the most important theory of pain that is the gate control theory. Therefore, option 1 is the right answer here.